Hey, what's going on YouTube? Will here from All Electric, back again with another video. And today we are gonna be looking at roundabouts, specifically one intersection over the last two most recent software updates. Huge thank you goes out to Akrama Tool, Nicola Pro, and Daniel Jelling supporting this channel at the All Electric tier. Click the link down below and support this channel for as little as a dollar a month. So we're going to be looking at these roundabouts over two software updates, 12.5 and 12.6. So here is the actual roundabout and what it looks like so you can get a better understanding of the entire layout of the circle. So here is the roundabout and we are going to go and start in this direction here going through the roundabout and see what the first software update 12.5 and how it performs. As we start to approach this traffic circle, I slow down the car and actually do this on every single test. So here we are entering the roundabout and you can see take over immediately. So not a great start here with 12.5. Let's try again from the same angle following a car this time. So you see the truck enter the roundabout and then we're gonna follow the car in autopilot and as soon as we enter those or cross those white lines, almost like the car knows that we're entering the intersection, it says take over immediately. Here's a right turn lane from the roundabout and here we go crossing over the white hand lines there and take over immediately. So it looks like the autopod system is able to identify the roundabout based on the white lines. But now let's try from this direction. So coming from the top of the screen as you see here. So again, here's a crosswalk and then the white lines entering the intersection and we see take over immediately. So it's like the autopilot just stops once it crosses these white lines here in another test, take over immediately. And here's a test with 12.6 going the same direction. And you can see here it's going to stop at that line that it identifies by those white markers. And then we get the takeover immediately once we enter the roundabout. Now let's try that roundabout from the last direction from here from the bottom. So let's start with software update 12.5. Here we go. I'm slowing down the car manually a little bit. And wow, it went right through the intersection before I took over. And we also curbed it a bit there. So now let's slow down significantly because in the last clip I did not slow down very much. And again, once entering the roundabout, crossing that line that Tesla knows, the autopilot knows from 12.6, where the roundabout actually starts. So here is 12.6 and we see that the car is going to stop at those white lines where it knows the intersection or the traffic circle starts then we get this message that this is an unsupported intersection. I did mention an error that was coming up in my 12.6 software update. I'll put a link to that video if you haven't seen that up up here in the corner. So let's try from the last direction now from this right hand side as you see in your screen and we're going to start in 12.5. So 12.5 again I'm going about 25 miles an hour here and I'm going to manually slow down the car so here you see me scrolling down the scroll wheel and as soon as we cross those white lines, we hit take over immediately. So let's try again in 12.5. Manually slowing down the car. Here come the white lines and we get a little bit past the white lines before we get the takeover immediately. So let's try one more time with 12.5 as that last test went a little bit further than those white lines and here we go we're still in autopilot still in still in and now go. it says take over immediately so it went significantly past those white lines like we've seen in all previous clips so one sort of kind of promising test there although the autopilot did fail about midway through the roundabout so here we have the software update 12.6 where it's going to stop at these white lines and identify that it needs to stop it is impressive that it's able to identify that this is an intersection based on no stop sign. So it is able to identify that it needs to stop for a roundabout. But as you can see here, now I'm just playing around because I'm very frustrated that it's not working. But I did have the opportunity to take 12.6 on a couple pretty aggressive and new curves on my way to this roundabout for you guys. And it is doing pretty well, minus this curve where I had to take over pretty quickly before I hit that van. 
Now I'm gonna re-engage autopilot here and speed up the vehicle a bit. Now that I've had several days to test 12.6, I'm pretty impressed with it. Nose cone model S, double hand wave. But like I was saying, 12.6 is a pretty decent upgrade from 12.5 and I'm excited to run it through the Kirby Country Road Test. And I also noticed, just like in 12.5, it will identify people. You can see this guy's out of our lane, but it still will show him up on the screen. Now 2020.12.6 was able to be fooled. You can see here I'm in autopilot with no lane lines in a neighborhood and there's a parked car on the side of the road and it did stop behind that car even though we have a flow of traffic on the other side of the road. And you can see whatever I do, I'm trying to tug on that wheel on the right hand side, push the accelerator and it will not go past. I even turn on the turn signal and it will still not go past. So autopilot is still able, able to be tricked and like they said on autonomy day, we are chasing the nines. But I do end up having to take over before we pass this truck. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Share this video with a friend and don't forget push, to push, hit push, that push, subscribe push button. button. As always guys, I'll see you in the next one.